hello and welcome back to my channel. So here we are with the wrap up and the leftovers uh, from my May Kill a Kit with Style. So in the end, I had pre-recorded the layout share and I actually put it up yesterday, the 30th, as opposed to today, the 31st. Um, but that one did not include my leftovers because in that video, if you recall, I said I might get another page or so done this week. Well, in the end, I didn't, um, but I have an awesome plan for this lovely um, paper pad. So before I get going, don't forget to go down below and follow all of the How to Kill a Kit with Style uh, lovely participants and look at all of their, uh, what they all got done in, um, in May because there are some awesome, awesome projects. So many productive ladies. I couldn't believe it. I'm still, I'm still watching. I haven't watched everybody's um, monthly recap. I'll be finishing that off today and tomorrow. So if you recall from May, I embarked on this lovely paper pad, which my friend Helen in the UK had sent to me. And um, I got, I think it's seven pages done. So I'm quite happy with what I got done, but my goodness, there's so, so much in here. Um, there is still uh, quite a bit left. There are tons of full sheets left. I would say, look, these I had already gotten out to do some layouts and I have a few photos printed, so I think I'll probably get another couple of layouts. Uh, I had added some cardstock uh, that I could use as backgrounds. I did use some. I still have these left over. And I apologize if you can hear uh, the lawn mowing going on out there. Of course, the minute I set everything up, um, they started doing that. So I did close some windows. Hopefully uh, that is muffling the sound a little bit. Otherwise, I do apologize. And there you go. And I still have, look at all of this that I have left. And these papers are just beautiful. I've so enjoyed uh, working with these. And so I'm not ready to put this away in my stash. And yesterday I was watching Dorothy, Dorothy Guinan's um, layout chair for the month of May and all the wonderful layouts that she got done. And then she made some awesome cards and tags. And I said, there you go. That is what we are going to embark on with the leftovers of this lovely paper pad. And I am going to embark on a new little bit of a series called Paper Pad Palooza. So I still have a lot of 12 by 12 sheets left here, which I hopefully will get uh, some layouts done. But then what I did with the partial sheets that I had, the first thing I did is I just made myself some card bases so that I could do some cards. These are all white, um, standard A2 size cards, some which will be top opening, um, top opening, side opening. So I made 12 card bases. Then I took the partial sheets that I had. Oh, oh, here's another card base that I made out of this um, cardstock. And then I just cut these into um, about four and an eighth by five and three eighths, or a little bit smaller. So these could all be panels on a card. And then with the smaller ones, I just did some smaller um, bits because two of my go-to designs for cards, and I may have shown this before, I think I may have shown this when we were doing the Christmas, um, 12 Days of Christmas. So one of my go-to designs is sort of a background sheet like this with um, a strip. So there you go. And sometimes if I don't have a full sheet of this, I can still do some paper piecing 
and you know put that together so that is one of my go-to designs and then I will all often do uh, a stamped image that I will color up here either square oval uh, scalloped oval or even round um, and then another one of my go-to designs um, is sort of a little bit more of a half half type thing where I would use this kind of thing here well that one's not big enough but here's something like this with something like this uh, and sometimes I will leave it just as it is or I could put a little paper strip here and this I could do this way or that way so either landscape or portrait so there you go so I figure I will get a few cards done um, this month with this and then I also um, if you recall I had uh, these lovely dome stickers which also came from Helen that I put in my kit and then I taken a variety of die cuts from my Chamel box left over from the April kit and you see I've used quite a bit of them um, this is a Vicky Booten one and you see this could simply look this could simply be a card as is if I did a lovely colorful colorful background to that so there we go so I'm gonna use these die cuts either on a card or the other thing that I would like to do this month um, are maybe uh, some bookmarks let me see I'm gonna just turn this over there we go so that I have a little bit of white space here so some bookmarks um, this I had uh, talked about in the 12 days of Christmas some bookmarks and then maybe uh, a few of these lovely little pockets with some tags and some tags so I here is um, this I got this month or last month from scrapbook.com and it's a 14 piece and look at all the sizes these are all different tags now I had put this I think in my cart at scrapbook.com I don't know it had probably been in there since about last fall at some point and I kept seesawing saying you know really you don't need dies to make tags you can just you know cut your tags do your own little hole reinforcers but I kept going back to this thinking look at this lovely big size because you could even make this into a mini album Anyway, I think it's during the uh, International Scrapbooking Day sale. Uh, this finally finally went from cart <laughs> to order. So I'm, I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna dig this set of dies out. Then of course, I am going to use this set of lovely dies that I did already use to make these bookmarks. And then, um, as a little bit of an add-on to one of my Secret Not Secret Kit Club kits, I got these lovely little sort of journaling spot stamps and um, dies that come with it. So I figured here I could do um, some journaling spots and get myself a little bit prepared for either journaling spots or this could actually even be a tag or the basis of um, a handmade embellishment. So there you go. So those are going to be my plan for the paper pad palooza. I'm gonna get some more layouts, some cards, some tags, um, some bookmarks, uh, some little pockets, and I am going to pair this with I've talked about this many, many times, all these lovely little bowls that are on my desk full of uh, bits and bobs, full of flair, uh, some die cuts. These are sort of square or rectangular that have words or sayings on them, just little scraps. These are some tags that I've already done that I can pair with a lot of this stuff and 
Then, of course, I just added in here uh, some twine, red and white. There you go, red and white. And this lovely sort of aqua color. And I am keeping uh, the two washi tapes that I had taken out. So there you go. So what I had left and the plans here for a little bit of a new series, and I'm going to try and do the same thing with this as I do with How to Kill a Kit with Style, and that is give you um, a check-in maybe once or twice a month, uh, maybe around the 10th and the 20th kind of thing, and then we'll come back at the end of the month and we will see everything that I got done with this. Oh, and look at this, so there we go. The little things are the big things. I was just lying on my desk. Is that not just awesome? That's perfect for this um, kind of little project. So there you go. Um, paper pad palooza and the leftovers from my How to Kill a Kit with Style from May. So again, pop on down below and see what all of my lovely friends were up to during May. Come back and see us tomorrow because we will have our share and what we intend to do and what we intend to kill in June. Have a wonderful day. Bye.